Good morning, guys, and welcome to a brand new day. I am feeling a lot better today. I noticed. Hi. <laughs> you cracked me up. I noticed that the, the days I wake up and it's pouring rain, I just feel so down and glum and yuck. Anyway, Sam is still sleeping, much deserved. And we are headed down to the barn. Before we go, I want to read you guys some inspiration. A subscriber sent me this uh, devotional book. It's called Unbridled Faith. It's about having faith and it has stories um, with horses. So, yeah, it's perfect. Um, anyway, so sometimes what I do is I like to pick it up randomly and say, God, show me what you want me to learn today. And I pick, I sometimes... <laughs> You're just worse than dad. <laughs> yeah, I suck at vlogging. Um... So, uh, some days I pick up the book and I say, God, guide me today. And I open it at random. And today I picked it up and it said, Fools with Potential. That's the name of the story. And basically, this story is exactly what I believe. It says, Charles Spurgeon never went to college or seminary. And his first lesson in theology, I don't know who Charles Spurgeon is, but he's some famous guy. Uh, his first lessons in theology were from a lunch lady. Thanks to this perfectly placed ser servant-hearted woman, the Prince of Preachers grew up to change the world. Who might influence you at your place of service? Basically, the story is about if you are dissatisfied at your place in life right now, if you are working in a store, if you are... Uh, if you think that your job is a lowly job and you have and you strive to be bigger and better, God doesn't always want bigger and better for us. What he wants, he has a predetermined place for you in this world, a spot that he knows you're going to have the biggest impact on this world. So never think that where you are right now is a bad place. Never think that where you are right now is not where you're meant to be. There's always a reason you might be right where you are because you're about to touch somebody's life and make them them who they need to be so um, I really love that story because it's such a great reminder I'm so grateful for where I am and our house is not the best our farm is not the best our our house oh man you guys is this tiny little house I never thought I would live in a house that looked like this and um, hi and I'm so grateful for this house tell all the things that I'm learning in this place before I move on and I just want to tell you guys that be you be happy with who you are be exactly where you are right now just be there be happy be energetic and live it learn everything you can so that so that you are living your own authentic life so anyway let's get on and go and check with our horses Good morning, horses. Good job, Gabby, coming down. Right, everybody's looking good. Lots of poops. You got lots of poops? Yep, you got poops. And pees. And that's all that matters. So today we're having a lesson. Oops, just a minute here. Today, okay, go ahead. Today we're having a lesson at our barn, and then Thursday we're going out. And then Sunday we're going out. So you know what's funny? Storm will not walk through the mud. Storm will not walk through mud. If he can do anything about it, he will not walk. What does he do? Jump. Yeah, so you're walking along, you've got your horse, and all of a sudden he rears back and whoosh, jumps it. And you're like, okay, I'll come with you. <laughs> like, you don't expect it. Like, well, I never... I, I just opened the gate and let the storm walk in. And he's like, okay. 
and he stops at a tree and he's thinking what he should do and he just goes, walks, and halts, and jumps over Yeah, it. and everybody else just walks through it. But yeah, Storm, not Storm, Storm jumps it every single time. So it was over in this corner that I dug up. See, there's like this this skid locked underneath the ground this whole winter because it was um, because it was frozen. So now that it's not frozen, I wanted to try and dig it up. And it was right here where I found the, the skull. It looks like a raccoon tried to fit underneath here got his head in and then got caught back there and then his head just sat there. That's what it looks like to me. That's gross. Yeah, imagine dying. That would be so horrible. Um, Storm must have came over here and sniffed this because he pooped right there. Yeah, all right. Let's get racing. this day started. I'm excited. Chores? I'm setting up barrel racing for my lesson. Yeah, Gabby's good. Sophie's going to ask if she can do barrel racing today. Just some. You're going. Come on, we're going for grass. You're going for grass, dude. Hey, do there. So I'm gonna go behind Gabby, and you guys are gonna get to see Storm jump the ditch. I don't think he will. With me. He never has. Okay, hold on. It might be true. He might not do it with Gabby because yeah, nobody does anything bad with Gabby, but he might do it. Oh, uh, he tried. You pulled him, that's why. I let him lead, that's why. So the problem with these two is that one feeds off the other and I'm the same way I feed off other people's emotions and Sophie does too hey. so what he's doing right now is saying let's go like he's trying to he's ignoring me he's ig yeah I he's told so to stop doing this if he does not learn yeah I told Sophie that I would stop. walk him and she said, no, he needs to learn to be walked with me. He thinks he can push Sophie around because she's little. And I think that that's what he's but used what to. What he doesn't know is that I'm not letting go until I ask him to. Now he is. Be calm. Yeah, be calm. You can put his hand. I'm scared. We should have bug sprayed them. We forgot. I don't like them getting eaten by bugs. Storm, you'd be nice to your friend. So in this field, Finn can kind of get away. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he needs like... He needs work. Yeah. I wish they'd go to a different area. Like, guys, you're ripping up all this grass. You need to move up the hill. Turning it muddy. Yeah, we're going to have to section this part off. There we go. We just wanted to make their meal yummier for them. You cannot see Storm's carrot chunks. That is so super kind, but our horses do not need carrots. And Willow and Stella definitely don't. Yeah, good job. Up at the house, when you read to us, I'm going to grab carrot, a carrot and shred it. So that yeah, my kids are carrot eaters. And they don't even know, but I bought a whole new thing of dip. They look pretty settled out there today. Yeah, Sophie did her own hair today with her matching scrunchie. I did not. I did not brush it. Oh, yeah, you. Gabby did her own hair today. There's Finn. He always is a bit worried. But since Storm's been alone, he's been Thanks. leaving Finn alone a lot better. Look. It's cool. He's learning. 
If you want to have a friend, you got to treat them right. He's been feeling ignored, Gabby. We're going back to the house. I'm going to have some breakfast. Mm, yummy. Have my coffee down at the barn this morning. What's the best part about a glove? What's the best part about a glove? Oh my gosh. It's waterproof. Sometimes you got to let your kids waste stuff, like gloves. So that they can play and experience well, and learn. Well, um, hands, they're waterproof too. <laughs> Good point, Gas Sophie. They get all wet though, they stay wet. No, they, you can dry them. All right, life changing thing. I'm gonna show you guys. I just did this, but Gabby's gonna demonstrate. So everybody keeps on saying that an exercise ball is so good for learning balance, but it's so good for so many things. So basically, I was sitting on the ball like this, bouncing up and down like I would be on a horse. She was bouncing up and down like this, guys. Like a zombie, I my zombie arms. And then you're like this. Yeah, and then and Gabby and Sophie were able to show me exactly what I needed to do. Show me again. And then how my elbows have to move. Just a bit forward. Yeah, and With it kind of... the kinda... horse's head. When the horse reaches, you go like that. Yeah. You don't go like... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it's cool, but now my legs hurt and I have a riding lesson soon. But I love it. I'm excited to try it. Okay. Fiona says that there are certain muscles that you can only get with the motion of riding. And I do not have those because I didn't ride for a long time. But I'm going to get them, you guys. Sophie and I are at Walmart. We're yeah. here to... I know, but he's not white. We're here to get wool. Wool is one of the things on our to get list for our show. So, yeah, so Finn. What color, you guys? Like, I think the white. I don't think the white because he his hair is more like this color. It's like an off white, even when it's washed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should just get blue. No, blue is not going to cut it. So, what would you get for a Palomino? Would you get white or would you get off white? I found this. Yeah, like. I don't know. I feel like this color is going to match him better. And Daddy, we Daddy got, this color. who knows what we're going to do with this. Don't tell them. We just got home from shopping. We had to go get a couple of things and literally, everybody, everybody runs down to the barn. They're like, whoa, she's gone to the barn. And I'm like, I have to go pee. Can't you wait for me? So yeah, they never wait for me. Anyway, I wanted to check. Uh, and see if this this wool is the right color for Finn. Uh, horses are having lunch. Here, hold this up to Finn. I have a feeling this is going to be perfect. He's got a cream colored mane. They're all going to gallop. They're going to be like, oh my god, it's wool! <laughs> Cute little willow. <laughs> and he's like, I didn't, just hold it to his tail. Yeah, it's better than white. It's not bad. That's gonna be your future, my friend, hopefully. Bahula hoops for um, Ruby and, and, Willow. and Willow. Uh oh, our horses need water. Go check what fit storms water. So we bought, oh my God, I love it. My daughter is a genius, although you guys are probably gonna say that this is too small for her and it might be, and if it is, we'll buy bigger ones. This is why God gave me Gabby. Like, I mean, I wouldn't have horses if it wasn't for Gabby, but she's like so good. Uh, way to go, Stormy Boy. What a good boy. So the first time Sophie asked him to walk over a hula hoop, he reared.
clearing up some questions that you guys have had in the last couple of videos. Uh, one, Sophie does ride a fin bitless. She has a bitless bridle and she has, whoops, she has like a side pull and she also has a rope kind of side pull. I don't know where it is. Anyway, she's got a couple of different things that she can ride him in that is bit, that's bitless. He was ridden by children previously bitless and that's why he isn't used to a bit and that's why he doesn't like the bit because he's not used to the bit. Um, unfortunately, she's going to be showing him, hopefully, so uh, she, he has to get used to a bit. But some of you guys did point out that he did not like the bit that we used the last time. We changed from the happy bit back to the other bit, which I'm trying to find the happy bit again. Um, because he was not listening to Sophie in the happy mouth. This one. He stopped listening to her in it. So, uh, race car driver was here. So, I'm going to see if Fiona will work with him in the happy mouth. And see if he can ride in it again. Because he definitely likes it a lot better than this snaffle. The other one. I don't even know why I'm saying it. Because people who comment this. Don't watch the whole video. They just look at the title or see one little tiny thing and don't watch the whole thing. But Storm did not live with a big, huge herd all of his life. He lived in a big herd for about seven months. And by big, I mean four horses. Yeah, actually, he's never lived in a big herd. Most of his life, he lived alone, on his own, by himself, either next to another horse or no horses. That actually is has been his life. So, um, but you guys should know something changed. So... I told you guys that he's really mean to Finn, like running him off, running him off, running him off. And then the last couple of days they haven't been together. They've just been beside each other and we put them back together because they're going to be in the grass together. And dun, 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 Storm behaved. He was really good to Finn. He was just like a normal running him off every once in a while, making sure he knew that he was the boss of him every once in a while. So yeah, he is used to being alone and I don't know what happened. It's not them getting used to each other, but they definitely were a lot better today. Storm was a lot better. You can tell like he, he's a lot more, he's a lot less, I don't know what to say. You guys missed it. When we went to go get Storm and Finn from the grass field, they galloped up to us. Yeah. Do you love that he gallops up to you? Yes. He chooses you over grass. Pretty much. Well, Storm started galloping, and then Finn's like, I gotta go! Either that, or they know you're gonna take them back to the girls. Yeah, Finn loves the girls. Yeah, probably. And then when I started Oh, Finn's got it! Started, like, Gabby's got Finn working Storm. far enough. Look, look at Finn! Yeah, but Yay. now we know he can rear. Yeah, I already knew he can rear. rear. <laughs> were saying about the horse's sheath being dirty and that's why they're itching. Uh, I clean their sheath about once every two weeks. Stay on top of that because you do not want any of the beans. Um, and so far we've not had any and we've had storm for a year and I just keep up on it all the time and it seems to work better. In a little tiny herd you can do that. Yeah, so we are ready to roll. We're just waiting for Fiona to arrive. I actually was like looking underneath their tail, uh, Storm's tail, because he scratches his butt too. And there's this like tiny spot way up on the top like right underneath their tail and you don't even see it even when you lift up their tail you don't see it and then so i saw it and i as soon as i started getting close to it he was like oh please scratch it scratch it and so i got a wet washcloth and i cleaned it and he was like so much happier um so then i tried to see if finn had the same little spots just a little teeny tiny spot at the top uh like right underneath their tail and so Finn does not let me look underneath there. He was like, get out of my butt! And then I did see that he does have it, but I couldn't clean it. I, I tried to do the best that I could in a fast amount of time. But yeah, he does not love... He, he, he Storm, when he sees me coming with the sheath cleaning stuff, he's like, oh, I love you. And Finn is like, get away. I literally feel like we're playing. Like we're playing farm life. Like it's not even our real life. Like it's just crazy. Sam and I are sitting here in the parent section. Girls are up and riding. We're waiting for the trainer to set up the jumps. There's another thing. You guys were wondering about the bit, the sheath. 
the storm alone and the outside riding arena that Sam's been taking care of and keeping it it's yeah it's so wet it's been raining 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 pretty soon we'll be outside so much you guys will be like go inside yeah like yeah it's wet enough to lose a shoe but we just wait guys soon as we can we will be outside bring both your horses into the center uh oh I hate to hear those words So apparently, maybe, hopefully, some of the issue with Finn and the shaking is with the saddle. He's changing shape so much, which is why we haven't ordered a saddle for him, and um, he hasn't built a top line yet, but he, he's changed shape again, so his, Daddy, we're on saddle number three. We don't have an extra saddle. Well. So he's going to be riding in Western today, until we figure it all out. He's going to be riding bareback here in a minute. Be, yeah, because it doesn't fit him either, does no. it? It doesn't fit him either. And we tried storms just to double check and uh, Finn's a fatty. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.